Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at CCM's brand new FT5 Pro and VSing it against the previous generation, the FT4. Now, as always, when new sticks drop, we're going to find out what the performance is like. If you remember the previous video when we featured the FT4 Pro, Tommy wasn't a big fan. So let's see how the brand new stick faces up against the previous generation. Let's go. And as a side note, before we jump into the video, make sure to thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like and subscribe. Now taking a very quick look at the technology in the FT4 Pro to see what's changed when you VS it against the FT5 Pro. When we look at the shaft of the FT4 Pro, that featured a couple of key technologies, which was the Nanolite carbon layering, which was that high performance carbon layering technology, which was paired up with CCM's Sigmatex. Now fancy words aside, this essentially provided a stick that was both incredibly lightweight while not compromising on the stick's durability. Now, looking at the dimensions of the shaft, it had that R geometry, which had those nice rounded corners and the concave. And moving a little bit further down into the uh, taper area of the stick, that featured CCM's new Skeleton Plus. This technology in the taper of the stick essentially provided a lighter and better feeling stick. CCM also claimed that this was there to help the stick be more reliable in those key moments of the game. So better reliability and better consistency. Now from there, when we look at the blade, this featured CCM's double R90 blade with a dampening core. This essentially helped to optimize the stiffness. That's what that dampening material allowed the stick blade to do. In addition to this, it was there to provide a really good mix of feel and also pop. This is a mid kick point stick, so it's the type of stick that needs to be optimized to take any type of shot anywhere on the ice at any time. And that's exactly what these technologies allow the stick to do. Now, when we look at the FT5 Pro, what technologies have changed? It's essentially one key technology that's been upgraded, which is the Sigmatex, which has been upgraded to Sigma STP. This essentially provides the next generation of durability and strength. So you can expect the new FT5 Pro stick to have better durability than the previous one, better strength while also allowing it to still maintain that great light feel and also being incredibly well balanced. Now, of course, this is stuff that you have to kind of test out when you get onto the ice and you use the stick for enough time to see if it is actually more durable than the previous one. But this STP or this Sigma STP technology is also found in the blade of the stick. So you can expect this better carbon weave to allow the blade of the stick to have even better feel, enhanced durability. So essentially this Sigma STP is the main change. Everything else in the stick is using the same technology. So let's find out if this upgrade in the carbon weave is gonna be significant enough for Tommy to not only feel, but also to make the FT5 Pro better than the FT4 Pro. Let's find out. So today I've been using the FT5 Pro. I know Chris moans at me. Um, very nice actually. I know I didn't like the DFT4. I don't know if you remember us doing the video on that. I didn't like it at all. I didn't like it. It just it felt weird. I couldn't slap shot with it. The release was quite nice, but I couldn't slap shot with it. And I have a very powerful slap shot. I like to use my slap shot when I can. So that didn't work very well for me. Whereas this, I feel like it's a very all-round stick. It's very good. I can stick handle, I can slap shot, one-timer. 
it's a very good stick. I do recommend it, if, especially if you've got the FT4 and you know, you're considering moving up to the FT5, I highly recommend that you make that change because they are completely different sticks. Weight, balance, anything else feel different? Not really. It doesn't, I mean, it looks very cool. It has a very cool look to it. I do really like the look of it. I think they've, they upped their game big time on the design. I thought the FT4 was kind of plain. There's you know, a, bit, a bit of red and a bit of black, whereas this is like a, has a bit of a design to it. I, re, I actually like the design on it. I really like the fact that it's got CCM and then it's got CCM in a different color and a different, that's, that looks really cool. It's, it's a very nice stick, and if you've got the FT4 and you're debating, move up, stay with the FT4, move up. They're completely different sticks. I feel way more comfortable using this FT5 Pro than an, a, a, an FT4 Pro. So if I was to rank it in the other sticks that I've used, it's very hard to rank, if I'm being honest, because they've all been different curves and none of them have been my curve. Thanks, Chris. But. If I had to rank it, I think it's a close, close second. The Trigger 6 is my favorite. The AS4 Pro and the FT5 Pro are a close second behind the Trigger 6. As always guys, a big thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. Big thank you to CCM for making this video possible. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like this type of content and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care.